Fighting back against fentanyl and the opioid crisis. Kimmy Wolf Rice lost her son to an overdose and now works to stop other parents from suffering the same loss. She helped create a new position in hospitals called Care Coaches. They focus on treatment for addiction. She's in town. She's joining me live on the red couch with more on her story. And we here at Fox 59 have really, I feel like, done a great job of alerting people to just how awful this fentanyl addiction is, the opioid addiction is. I hate to have to interview parents like you that have had to live this. What do you want people to know about your story and Christopher? Well, you know, Angela, thank you so much yeah. for this. Um, you know, my son, I'll never get him back, right? And so I've got to save lives. I took my pain and made it into purpose. Mm -hmm. And I really built a position on everything Christopher did not have yeah. when he was in the hospital. You need a care coach. We have coaches for everything in our society, right? We have executive coach, birthing coach, but when you're in a health crisis, no coach. So their focus is to work on pain management, mm -hmm. give you other techniques that are non-addictive, non-narcotic, help you with anxiety anxiety, stress, depression, PTSD. You more, most likely have all those things if you're in the hospital. So it's really a preventative role. And if you have to be on opioids, how to taper off, how quickly to taper off, what questions to ask your doctor. Mm. We have to be health advocates for ourselves. I know that's so important to you. And part of what you really wanted to talk about today is that because we do talk about it so much now, it's like, okay, fentanyl, 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 rainbow. Uh, it's in everything. It's in, it's, we want to talk about solutions. We're, we've, we're losing hundreds of thousands of people to this, and I feel like, why is it still happening? Why can't we help solve it? Right. I think we can't look. We have to understand, first of all, you can become addicted with one prescription. Mm -hmm. Going to the dentist, you don't need 30 Percocet, Motrin and ice. I think we are so mm. used to taking one pill and thinking it's going to relieve pain. Yeah. Um, and there are other solutions for pain besides narcotics. How easy or how hard was it to get the hospitals to create these this position for these care, co care coaches? Was, has it been a long journey? Was it pretty difficult? It was, it was pretty hard. Yeah. We did a clinical trial at Grady hospital in Atlanta and that's one of the largest trauma and we did it in orthopedic trauma because young people get an introduction to opioids football injury mm. gymnastics car accident um, I had a surgeon the chief of surgery is the one that if I didn't have that champion mm. I wouldn't have been able to do it the hospital was totally supportive now we're moving out into rural communities mm. we believe that this is the answer for rural communities and healthcare as well uh, so I'm super excited okay. and uh, now that we've got the clinical trial underway and we've got the data to prove we have a 25% opioid utilization rate reduction Good. and we're showing that it actually works the having a care coach flight your new book this yes. is debuting too. tell yes. me about this book and why this is so important it was for you to write this I needed to get to the masses Angela mm -hmm. I really wanted to scream I have a fire inside mm -hmm. of me to warn people and so yes this is about my opioid journey but it also talks about different challenges I had a home invasion for example mm. that's in there but what's really key is I put a QR code in there where you can it's going to always be updated and it'll have a library resource library for you to find out where to get help where to get treatment how to talk to doctors about your pain medicine it's just got an enormous amount of uh, education mm. and awareness mm. and that's where I wanted to go with it and being from Indiana honestly I just released the book October 26th and this is the first place I wanted to come I was born in Bloomington um, I mean born in Columbus yeah. raised in Bloomington yeah. my son went to Warren Central play baseball uh, I'm a Hoosier and so I really want to bring this position to the state of Indiana and it's a it's a, we're ha we have a big problem yes um, you know the numbers aren't going down our, no. our fentanyl deaths are in some counties higher now than they were last year and the year before unfortunately yes and we're we're doing a walk on a bridge going from mm. Ohio to Kentucky mm. uh, Saturday night all the parents that have lost kids oh. and they're turning the bridge purple oh. and we really want to bring more awareness that one pill can kill thank you yes. again thank for, you for this. like you said using your pain for purpose in such a big way hopefully it's going to continue to make a difference if you would like more information about Cami and the Christopher Wolf crusade fox59.com slash Angela Answers, the book, the flight. Again, more on what they're doing all over the country in that QR code right here. Good to see you. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right.